love my friends. So now I'm switching from German to English. This this is always a challenge on Thursdays. Um, 8 p.m. German time. I'm having my life in German and now I am on in English. So please forgive me if I'm a little bit uh, mixed up, but <laughs> my, my my brain has got to switch. It's it's I'm an old cow, so that sometimes uh, doesn't work that easy. Hi, Nina. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elfron Helden. I'm an elite uh, retailer for Dixiebel over here in Frankfurt in Germany. I also am the German distribution for Dixiebel, which I'm very proud of. So um, I also look after our German retailers. So I'm here basically in the name of all of them. And I really hope that you're going to uh, go over to their pages and support them also. Um, I will have the next time the links to them or to the German retailer page also on here. Hallo liebe Kerstin. So um, tonight we are working on this beautiful, um, cute little sewing table. And uh, it's for a friend of mine. She just popped on also. And uh, the color she wants to have is pink. She has a special pink. So I've wrote in the description um, the Christana Berry. This is the color which is going to get. Uh, everybody knows Christana Kusen from Bella uh, Renovare. And she's invented this beautiful color. And when, when Kerstin showed me the samples, the pink she wants to have, I exactly knew this is the pink I'm going to use. So um, the color, it's not my invention. Christana um, has done it, you know, she, she's done a project with it about a year ago, I think. And this was the color I had in, in my mind. And I, I already called it at the time, it's a Christana berry. So if a Dixie Bell ever does a new um, berry color like that, it's got to be called Christana berry. So um, guys, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and let me uh, um, know if you have questions. If you haven't done it yet, pop over to my page and leave me a like there. You may also sprinkle this video that also makes me very happy. If you watch replay, put hashtag replay in the comments and uh, I will catch those later. So, but even so, this piece, um, oops, I think this is like somewhere around the 70s. I've already cleaned it, so we don't need to do that step, but um, this is like, I'm going to turn it back to the side. This is, um, it's got like all those um, um, hinges on there, and you can basically, when you open that up, let's see if that, that okay, it's got to, it goes this way. You can open it up that way, you know. So for painting, I want to keep, I want to make those black at the end. I'm going to uh, keep that black also. Um, Kerstin, she likes clear colors, so, so I'm not going to do my usual mad things on it. It's going to be clear colors. I'm going to do a special pink mix for her. And the, the rest is going to stay black because this is going to, to go beautiful with, um, with the piece itself. I'm going to paint those also, but I want to take those off. Um, it makes life easier. What I've done... Um, because I'm very difficult, uh, I'm not very good at remembering um, what the things look like. I am, I took pictures of it when it was open and I took pictures of the sides and stuff like that. So when I put it back together later on, uh, it makes my life easier. Yeah. So, but even so, I'm going to take that thing apart because it's, it's easier for painting and uh, I've got like a little glass here. I'm going to put the screws in. So when you do something like that, you know, take pictures of it. It makes, you know, it makes your life a lot easier at the end. Um, because then you know which way around it was on there. And I'm also going to keep the hardware because I think that's pretty cute for it. So, and this piece is going to be, it's going to be, um, okay, like some things on there. It's going to be, um, 
pink on the outside and turquoise on the inside. So that's the plan for it. Turquoise from the inside. Okay, better be careful. The top thing is dropping in a second. So I'm going to leave that screw. I'm going to unscrew it on the other side. I'm just leaving it like that, guys. Um, so maybe I'm going to turn it. The light is very bad over here. The light is very bad over here. Get the glass here. Just keep the, you know, the screws and stuff like that in um, in a predicted area. So I'm just holding underneath so that the bottom drawer is not dropping. Got the net. Another thing, slowly falling apart. Another screw on the outside here. Let's see, I'm going to take the bottom drawer off first because that's a little bit tricky. The top one is laying on that, um, on that middle piece, so that's a little bit more secure. But even so, this thing is not, not heavy. It's not heavy. So there's one more screw on this side here. I've got to take off. So don't be don't be scared if you have to do something like that. Let's um I'm saying that. If you have a helping hand, it's like when you build up some IKEA stuff, um with two people is always easier. I'm on my own at the moment. So I'm holding the drawer from underneath at the moment, so it's not so falling down. Okay, you can see you already had some damage. There's a little bit of wood coming off. I'm going to keep that also because I'm not sure where that belongs to. Maybe I can just that. So now I can take the, the bottom drawer off. So that's uh, safe now. Put it to the side for now. And now I'm going to take the top drawer off also. And then we go that way. So even I've cleaned it, I can see by taking those things off that they are still a little bit under the, those hinges on there. There's still some, some stuff. You're working with the chalk mineral paints by Dixiebel. The great benefit by them is that you don't really need to prepare your pieces apart from cleaning. If you here. If you paint on bare wood, you only need to. There's another screw there, but I'm firstly going to put some loose here. Loose here. So you know why I took pictures with all those all those moving things it makes your life easier at the end there it is to make sure they all go together the light is pretty bad over here let's see there we go so the bottom Shelving thing can stay on. I'm not taking that one off. It's, um, it's easy, but those moving parts, that's, you know, that's, that's just, too, just too tricky. Just put it on the floor. There it is. Get that one. So. That's now off also. So I've got now the two drawers. And I can basically get going. So now this is going to be easy. I can leave those on. Those are going to be cleaned a little more and they're going to be painted. They are metal. 
this is metal. This is, I'm not quite sure, this is metal also, I think, yeah. I'm not sure if it's wood or metal, but I'm going to paint over that. This is going to stay black because I think this is going to be pretty nice with the pinky. And this is going to stay on here because I can tape off the sides. That's uh, not a problem. But we, as I said, those moving parts are a little tricky. So, um, let's see. You can see from the screws, there's um, still something coming off. I'm going to put those um, in the cupboard so that uh, my cats can't get to them. So don't lose my screws. I've got a screw loose anyway. So do you, do you say that in English? I've got a screw loose. <laughs> so, oh, cats, don't worry. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Jill, you almost missed. We would have missed you. We would have missed. Okay, you can see there's like, uh, I've got to clean that off quickly. I've got my, because that is, that is, um, might be some minor. Oh, okay, I see. Then, yeah, I've got to use a little bit of glue. This is like, you can see that this is broken. Oh, Steve is watching too. This is broken, so I'm going to use some wood glue on there to get that back together and things like that. So there's a little bit of work to do with that piece, so it's uh, nicely back to shape afterwards. But uh, nothing we can fix. That was basically where the, the wood came off. So, okay. Anyhow, those sides we have to, to clean a little more also. If you look at that, that's from the screws, from years of wearing and we're going to use our white lightning on there. I'm going to put my gloves on. I have my mixture already prepared. So those are, you know, when you paint, you don't have to prepare your projects, but obviously when there's like dirt or something like that on there, and this is normal when the piece is like, uh, nobody could get to those areas. This is exactly where those, you can see where those uh, hinges uh, were over, you know, got over it. So that's, um, that's normal. Okay, anyhow, i am got my white lightning in here. The mixture, I'm spraying that. And you can see in a minute how that is just taking off. And cleaning. You can see that the main dirt is come off. So that the paint is basically adhering nicely to the project. You can um, repeat this step if you feel that there's a little more coming. You might be able to come off or you sink. But sometimes then also, but the main, the main um, from the screws and stuff like that is coming off. There is no more dirt on the on that sponge. It's fine now. It also, doesn't seem to be a bleeder. Go on the other side. Do the same thing. You can see, you know, all the the grime from the screws down there. That's where we use our white lightning on. Take the scrubby side of my sponge, rub that into it. Some people say, oh, you can just like um, sand that down. Yeah, obviously you can. But uh, if I do sand, even if I do sand a piece, I firstly clean that because I don't want to work anything which is on top of the piece into the wood. So that's what I do. A little more these areas. So that now this is um that's right in the wood. 
This is where the um, those uh, what are they called? Um, those things which were laying under the screws. Losing your nuts, okay. Losing your nuts. I'm nuts also, so uh, that's easy. So when you work with white lightning, wipe it off with some water so there's no residue left on there. there we go. So put that to the side. Take the top one. So that looks in better shape. That looks in better shape. There's nothing broken. There's just the top, top, uh, the bottom drawer which uh, is uh, broken slightly. But here also you can see those screws and um, those marks up here. We're going to take those off. Washers. Okay. So thank you, Kirsten. Thank you. Okay. This is basically taking off everything on there. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay. Other side. There you go. Other side. Oops. Same thing. Thing. I'm using glass with the white lightning as this is like a, a chemical cleaner. So don't clean your normal um, daily in use project with it because it is also a deglosser. You know, don't clean your kitchen cupboards or anything with it. You clean your projects before you paint them with it. You know, because it is a deglosser. And especially if you have a shiny kitchen and uh, you take uh, the white lightning, that's, um, that's not a good idea. You may damage your, your pieces. Okay, there's still the, the hardware on, which I'm going to take off also. Let's see. In the inside, I'm going to take those plastic bits out, but I'm not going to I'll do that off, um, off screen. Mm, again, not enough room, nowhere. So. Okay. I'm gonna need another, stay with me. This one for a type. I might as well try that before, I guess. There we go. This one's a bigger one. Still not perfect. I don't want to ruin the screws. I don't know which one that is. Let's see. I do have a couple of more. Or is it just a bigger, a little bigger? Yeah, that's it. That's it. This one is working. Oops. And I'm going to reuse those uh, hinges also because I think they fit nicely to that piece. This is going to be cleaned. It's going to be nicely again. Could use a better light in here. It's not helpful when you're blind as a bat and uh, got no light also.
So, put those off. Go into the glass with the other screws. Yeah! <laughs> Can you hear I'm a fur baby? <laughs> and a master of disaster, Michelle, that's right. That's me. That's me. So, then, let's in. Hmm? Same thing, using a little bit of white lightning on here to make sure that's uh, all clean at the end, and then we can start with our custom mix of paint, which is gonna go on here. So. Okay. This to the side, don't need the gloves anymore. And then, let's see, I'm gonna bring you a little down that you can see now what we are doing down here. And you always go for a ride with me. <laughs> always go for a ride. Sure, there's nothing stuck on there. So now we're going to I've got my baby wife straight straight to me. So the Christana Berry guys. Christana Berry is a custom is a custom uh, berry mix. A very rich, vibrant pinky. I've just got like a jar I'm going to keep it in because it's going to be two coats and I'm going to mix it enough for the whole thing and maybe to use for something else. I will see. The colors, the colors we are using are peony because it's pink. Um, <laughs> she does, doesn't it? Doesn't she? She is very demanding. Um, we've got plum crazy and we have a bright red this is honky tonk red and we're going to mix those together as i said christana made a project with it and she um, gave us the measurements and it's basically equal of each of the um, paints so peony and um, plum crazy i've just used so um, don't need to mix those up, but uh, honky tonk red. You can see there's like this uh, white shading on there. The uh, chalk mineral paints, but it's well are uh, uh, water based. So before you use them, you should mix them up. I got my. I got my. There, I've dropped. I've dropped it. My icing spatula for mixing. So they are BOC free, they are water based. So before you use them, you should mix them up nicely so that all the secret uh, ingredients are mixed up and you can um, and you can basically um, use them. Get all the benefits out of those paints. So you don't, as I said, you don't need to prepare your projects apart from cleaning. If you have a bleeder, you should use um, you should use uh, a stain blocker, like Boss, for example. If you have a slippery piece, like those IKEA um, laminated pieces, um, you use a bonding primer like Slick Stick. But apart from that, you don't. Um, you only need to clean your piece nicely. If you, if you paint on bare wood, you only need to clean nicely. So, peony and 
plum crazy and we're going to mix equal of each it's equal you don't need a measuring cup or anything you can uh, basically use just uh, anything and oh I just got some paint in my face now let's see I'm going to this one I'm going to use a small side this is probably going to be enough I've got a measuring cup as I said you can just use like a glass or something like that you just want to have like equal parts of each all that in there and that off wipe it in my trousers as per usual did I tell you I'm addicted by baby wipes can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. So using my fingers, using my fingers. So now next part using plum crazy. Pour it in here. Crazy. I just love those colors. There. I love my pinkies and I love my my blues, my turquoise and teal colors and stuff like that. And. Um, I also love making a mess, I love using my fingers, close this up straight away, I'll make a more mess. And the last, oh no, I've got, I've got to pour it in there first, don't I? Get that in here. That's in there. And the last, oops, oh. I've got that, the part uh, of the table standing down there and she has, you know, to jump over it to get on the bench because uh, there's no other way to go there now. Typical, Gallico, it's a Gallico. Mm. Oh my god, you bit your toe. I mean, that's that's just sounds like Kiara. That's what she would do. Honky Tonk Red. It's the brightest red by um, Dixie Bell. Oops. It's the brightest red by Dixie Bell. I love that color. I love that color. The paints come in three sizes. They come in eight uh, ounces, in sixteen, and in thirty-two. So I usually have the big, uh, the big jars here because um, I use them obviously quite a lot. So close that. So they are safe. Pour the last one in here. Yeah, that's a lot of paint. This is going to last. This is a lot of paint. Using every drop. Put that into the water. The water. Oh God. That bucket already looks like I've just I've just smeared that uh, red all over the edge. It looks like uh, I've just killed somebody. <laughs> Rotbraun, <laughs> yeah. So my sweetheart, he is painting his um, his shutters, uh, and he's ordered some paint. He's ordered some paint. I told him, wait, I'll get you some. No, he he's ordered some paint, and uh, it was supposed to be um, a reddish brown. It is more reddish than brown. So. Um, that was actually quite funny. So there are all my stirring, 
smaller stirring things. I'm sure I've put them somewhere because I always put them that I can find them, but I put them somewhere where I can't find them. No, I don't. Now let's mix those colors and get the perfect raspberry pink. This is so vibrant, guys, this is so vibrant. This is really pinky. And this comes, this is really like a raspberry color. Obviously, you know, if you want it more pinky or something like that, you can put more peony in there. But I think this is exactly the pink we are going for. This is going to be the first coat anyway. I'm going to paint it. And um, then Kerstin can, can decide if that's the pink she wants to have or if we have it. It looks yummy, doesn't it? Just like raspberry. Kristana, thank you so much for this recipe. As I said, this came straight to my mind when she sent me the pictures. So I knew this is the pink. This is the pink we're going to, to go for. So mix nicely. Mix nicely. If I don't forget, I try to keep a bucket with water next to me so I can put like all my brushes I don't need anymore and things like that right into it. Because I usually work with good brushes. And if the those chalk mineral paints, they dry pretty quick, which is a great benefit because you can speed up your projects. But obviously it dries quickly also in your... Um, in your brushes, which is then not that nice, you know. As I said, I work with good brushes and this is then sometimes a bit of a pain. So, our custom pinky mix is done. I'm gonna grab my, one of my mini brushes and we go from there. Oops. Got my Mr. Bottle also. Even I'm not blending, I like to keep my paint um, smooth. And um, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start on the side here. Can you see all? There you go. So mini brush by Dixie Bell is one of their synthetic brushes, and um, I like to keep them um, slightly damp when I start. Everybody's got his own preference, you don't have to. I like it when they're already a little damp, you know, before I start. So then I dip it in here. Just grab a little. And I'm going to slap that on here. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is going to need two coats anyway. You know, this is going to need two coats. On. Down this side. And to do the back and then we're gonna go to the other side I've got to hold it up to do that so So when I've got it on there, the last strokes, I'm just going over those long bits with one stroke. So it's like pretty smooth because I want to have a smooth finish on this, um, this guy. So I'm going to lay this down now. And paint oops, the other side. 
always not enough room where I'm working at, but I'm getting to it. So, because obviously I don't want to touch the already painted areas. Kick the paint to the floor and then we're going to do the top. You can spray your project also if you feel the paint is like not uh, moving smooth over it. And as this is, um, as this is, um, wood i didn't bother to um hang on go there i just cleaned it no sanding no nothing so as i said this is the first coat we're doing today I like to work with thin coats, you know, those paints, they cover really well. If you think of any other paint brand, this is a very thin coat I'm just applying on here. So if I compare it with other brands, this is just magic. This is just magic. Those paints are self-leveling, which means those brush strokes you still see they are going to level themselves out. This is another reason I'm not going to um, I'm not going to dry that with a heat gun or a hair dryer now. I'm going to let that dry on its own. We use those uh, heat gun or hair dryer anyway only because uh, we want to get going to show you something. Um, this is one of my private lives guys i'm sure you appreciate that uh, and this is a custom project i want to have it done perfectly just paint those sides off the top so that one put this this anywhere <laughs> where no cats are and no tools are. I really like that color, that's gorgeous. Same thing with that one. Even if it's not repaired yet, I'm going to paint the outside for now and um, go from there. See how easy this paint goes on. Hardly oh, got gotta reload the brush. Oops. I said the inside is going to be turquoise. coat from the outside basically finished so doing the top you want to have the top also in pink and the inside is going to be when I do like those edges I pull my brush from the side where the color basically is. If I want to have a different color on the inside, this uh, helps me 
that I don't need to tape it off basically. I hold it like almost horizontal to um, the piece. So that way none of the paint is gonna come or is gonna go inside. That's how I do it. There we go. Got everything covered. If not, this will happen on the second coat. There we go. 40 minutes, my friends. And um, we have the first coat basically finished of this thing. We had a made our custom pinky. You're really going to see the benefit or the beauty of it the next time. Another sip of coffee, my friends. Oh, oh, Betty, hi, you're there. I didn't see you. I didn't see you, girl. I just, um, yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, let's see if I missed any questions. Oh, Yvonne is there also. Guys, happy you're all there. Oh, hi, Michelle. Michelle Benero, Pat Pataji, wherever that is. Let me know where Pataji is. I'm, I'm sure I've uh, pronounced that wrong. Hi, Sean. Um, Sean, this is a mixture of... Um, Peony, uh, Plum Crazy, and Honky Tonk Red. Each uh, parts of, um, of every color. Thank you, that's so sweet. Thank you. Okay, yes, exactly. This color mix is by Cristana from Bella Renovare. So, um, as I said, Cassie showed me some pictures of the pink she wants to have, and that color came straight into my mind. So I told her I've got to, I'm gonna make a, a custom mix. And she was like, what is a custom mix? <laughs> so there we go. My friends, I thank you so much. Um Dixie Bell colors. Yes, Dixie Bell colors. And I already said if Dixie Bell makes uh is actually one day going to do a pink like that, it's gotta be called Chris Dada Berry. So <laughs> that's what I think anyway. My friends, I thank you so much for being with me. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, Cassie, you're going to let me know if you like that. I'm going to send you pictures when that's dried. And we can also always change that. And we're going to say, if you see, if you do the inside, I would like to have mermaid tail with it. This is like a, a beautiful a mermaid um, teal color. But I know she likes the pure ocean. We had like that, um, we had like Buna in that color. So, but uh, Kirsten, you're going to decide. Mermaid tail, see, like the mermaids, or if you're going to use pure ocean again. That's your choice, I think. Don't need to make a custom mix there, but I think the mermaid tail is gonna go beautiful with it. It's a great color. So if you watched replay, guys, put a hashtag replay into the comments and let me know where you've been watching from. And uh, if you have questions, put hashtag or put uh, um, tag me that I know that you had a question. And you can also PM me if you want to know something. So I, I love to help you out. Okay, Pure Ocean is one of your favorites. Yeah, Betty, I know that that's uh, our colors. They are all our colors, I think. So. Um, Thank you so much for being with me, guys. For those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. And um, I'm an elite retailer <laughs> and also the distributor for Dixiebel over here in Germany now. Um, so I'm happy that I'm standing here basically for all the retailers here. So if you know some of them, I will introduce them to you one after the other. We are not that many over here yet, so I'm going to introduce them to you now. But everything is pretty fresh. It's only basically fine from the beginning, beginning of this week. So there's a lot of work to do, but uh, I'm really happy and I'm very proud and um, I'll speak for all of them now. Guys, uh, if you want to check for your local retailer, pop over to the Dixiebel page and check for your local retailer. And um, I will also have them on my page. 
Uh, and then we have <laughs> difficult decision, Kerstin. I know. Maybe I take the decision for you. I'm sure the mermaid tail is going to be perfect. So if you don't like it at the end, um, I can paint over it. Guys, you have a great day, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you're watching from. It is almost 10 p.m. over here. So I'm going to clean up now and have a bit of a rest to get to uh, back to work tomorrow and i appreciate every one of you so i'm so happy that you're here if you haven't done it yet pop over to my page leave me a like there and i'll wishing you also a great weekend it's already thursday here and i'll see you next week guys you take care thank you for being with me bye yeah betty i think you're right mm. Okay, Kirsten, that's good. Wise. I'm sure you'll like it. Bye, guys.